let's say Gettleman really believed this team was good enough to win. Really believed that Eli had a lot of tread on his tires. That was not influenced by John Mara. Wow. Then he's do not good. Do you entrust him going no. forward then? No. To make these picks? And if I, you have the first or second pick in the draft? Maybe he couldn't tell a good quarterback if it hit him in the face. Because if he's that bad to legitimately believe that this team was good enough, and the same thing with Shermer saying that Eli was good enough and that this reconfigured offensive line was good enough, then you really have to seriously well, question whether they're the right people moving forward. I can't believe that, though. I mean, we all saw it. Michael, what do I know compared to an NFL general manager? And I saw it. It was time for the rebuild. We talked about it all last year. It's time to move on. And I'm an Eli fan. It was time to move on. But I don't think John Mara was going to hire somebody that was going to blow it up. Now, Gettleman might have looked at it and said, we ain't winning with this team, but I'm not turning down the job. I mean, you heard what Steve Young said. They're, they're Mount Rushmore of the NFL. They're one of the flagship franchises of the NFL. Nobody's going to turn down that job, but Michael. Don, Don. So, but and he'll, he's like, all right, I'll do whatever you tell me to do. But eventually, hopefully, if, if you end up being wrong, Mr. Mara, will you let me gut the team? Then, then if Mara is the architect of this dumpster fire, then how is he different than the Wilpons? How? I mean, we, we put him on some exalted mountain because of Wellington Mara, but, I mean, really, what has he done? He stayed with, Whoa. He stayed with Reese too long. No, he uh, fell in love I, with McAdoo. Well, what did I say last week? Because, really, since he's taken over sole possession of the team, it hasn't been good. No, it's now, been, he's been embarrassing. Been, now, Wellington died in 2005, but Eli was already here. Ernie, of course, he was already here, right? And, and let's face it, no offense to, to Jerry Reese, but a lot of what he was able to do is because of what was built by Ernie Accorsi. Right. All right? But but uh, Tom Coughlin was here. Yeah. So every so the replacement for Coughlin, the replacement for, for Accorsi and Reese all came on John Mara's yeah. watch. and John so Mara's has been the good. who fouled up the stuff with however, the kicker. However, he, he's not a Wilpon because I'll, I'll give John credit. He will come on every, with the exception of this year's training but camp. No, he's I'm come on every training camp. Good or bad guy. I'm talking about aptitude. He's made every single wrong move. I'm sorry. We happen to like the guy personally. Everything he's touched no, has turned to dust. I, I'm, I'm with you. Everything. I, 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 I said it, really. And he was the one, I believe, that had his fingerprints all over the Eli stuff. He's the one that went to McAdoo and said, we've got to find our quarterback of the future. McAdoo then fat-fingered it and really right. messed it up. Well, and then he which, tried to, he tried to like, back away from it, didn't understand that the reaction would be that. And everything he's yeah. touched in the last well, five years has turned to that's dust. That's what I said, too. I said that the reason that the biggest mistake John Mara made was not so much suggesting that Eli be benched, but allowing a coach that you already knew was on borrowed time to handle it. And to give it to Geno Smith. Well, that's the worst part of the that's whole thing. That, that's, that's, that's what made it That's terrible. what makes this a disaster. He, 